Hi, I'm Scott Salandi DeFore, one of the uh, co-founders of Liquid Star. At Liquid Star, we make micro data centers that have their own electricity, water, and internet built in. And we place them in emerging market rural areas where we sell the excess electricity, water, and internet to the locals that live around the waypoint at a discount. Yeah, so our chapter is about how data centers can actually be used to solve potentially UN SDG 6, um, people not having access to water, and UN SDG 7, people not having access to electricity by thinking outside of the box and placing them, as I mentioned um, in the introduction, in emerging market um, rural areas, these micro data centers that are powered uh, by solar. So. Really, the chapter just kind of goes into how we sort of came to the idea, then also some of the trials and tribulations of being an early stage startup relying on a brand new technology like Starlink, and what are some of the early outcomes of our initial prototypes and projects. And finally, the most important is how we see this scaling up and what this will look like in the future. So the main reason that I wanted to be involved is that I noticed very early on that there was a trend that data centers use a ton of electricity. And really, at the same time, just thinking about how in the past, you know, a lot of the resources in a place like Africa have been kind of just taken and they haven't really gotten the value. I think. I was already seeing that we're in the early stages of stages of that, especially when you hear people say that um, uh, information is the new oil, right? So, or digital information is the new oil. So, I really wanted to get involved with this book to help kind of bring attention to the fact that we can't repeat the same mistakes of the last a hundred years, where we're just extracting these resources and not providing anything back. And I also wanted to kind of bring attention to the fact using the greener data data platform that actually if we think creatively and outside the box, we can solve multiple pro multiple problems more profitably um, by, t by in a way taking advantage of the lack of electricity, water and internet access that's um, in the continent of Africa. Well, from my previous answers, it's probably obvious I'm really following the sustainability of data centers very closely, in particular AI and training, because, you know, there's a lot of articles that have come out about how much water and electricity data centers require. There's a lot of articles that have come out about how the supply chain for the components of the data centers are facing massive delays. Then on the other hand, you have a lot of um, articles and just things that have happened around climate change where in Europe, for example, they've had to shut down data centers because it's too hot outside, right? So really just following the intersection of AI and climate because I think they're on a, on a massive uh, collision course and one is gonna have to give.